Hey there, Heather Boyd Wire here. Today I'm going to make a pair of stethoscope earrings. Now this was inspired by my friend's daughter Amanda, who is currently a nurse. And last year she ordered some stethoscope earrings from me to give to her teacher. And I made them a little differently. I made them with black plastic tubing, but these ones I'm going to make with black wire. So what you're going to need for this project are the black wire, a 20 gauge wire, and also silver 20 gauge wire. I have a couple of small four millimeter black beads. And for the sample, I use these little rhinestones. So if you have these little rhinestones, you can use those. They have little holes on the back. And of course, you'll need your tools. So if you're using the little sequins, sometimes the holes are a little tight. So you can always go in with a pin and just loosen them up a little bit. And then what you want to do is slide your 20 gauge wire uh, through two of the holes. So it's better to do opposite sides. So it just goes through there, through two of the holes on the opposite sides. And what you want to do is just bring your sequin down to the middle. So just gently uh, wiggle it down to the middle of the wire because you don't want to uh, scratch the black off the uh, off the wire so we're just going to bring it down to about the middle and then what you want to do is just surround it with the wire so bring it around here and that one to the other side and try to pull it quite tight we're just going to bring it all the way around to surround the uh, sequin so bring it right around and then once you've come all the way around so you, it's like that. We're going to just take this and bend it straight up at a right angle. And the same thing for this one. We're just going to take it and bend it straight up. If you need to help it with your flat pliers, you can definitely do that as well to make sure they're nice and straight. So now what you want to do is, yeah, make sure they're straight. Make sure they're pushed together and then we're going to round the end. So what you want to do is compare it. I would do the mirror image to each other. So take the earring you've already done and then just bring it this around like in the mirror image and then just make sure like you wiggle it around so we're about the same size. So now hold the one you've already done here. Kind of put your finger to the about the place where you did the twist and then hold this where you want to twist it and take the longer wire and twist it around because you want to twist the longer wire so you have more wire to work with. And then you're going to make sure this comes straight up now. And this is going to be your uh, right side to, so it'll be like mirror image with that one. And then you want to bend these wires uh, towards the front. So just kind of bend them down. You can, if you don't have fingernails, just use your round pliers to do this part. Then you're going to take about a five inch piece of wire and just loop this underneath. And what you want to do is wind this around anywhere between about seven to ten times. Try to match it up with what you've done on the other side. And we're just going to wind it around this wire. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, if you find this is getting distorted here, then you're going to have to like back it up again because you want these lines to stay lined up. So that's the hard part is making sure that those stay lined up. And then we're going to do the other side. If you had to bend this out of the way, it's fine. You can bend it back after. And then we're going to wind this one around about seven or eight times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, and let's just double check. It's about the same. 
and do it about eight times. So that one's good. And we're just gonna clip that one here. I'm gonna do this one around one more time to about to match up with that side. And then the thing is here, this part has got a little bent out of shape. So what we want to do is make sure we make sure you hold these together and you can kind of like wiggle them in a way that they're going to stay together. And now we want to push these ends in place. So just take these and push them in. We're going to clip that one at the back. And there we have like this part here. If you find that this is too loose there, just go ahead and pinch it in with your pliers and try not to scrape the wire. So we're just going to push these in a little bit. And then what you want to do is uh, curve them out a little bit. So we're going to take these, curve it out. This one too, we're just going to curve it out a little bit. And then we want to make sure it matches the earring for the uh, height of the stethoscope. So we're going to take this one and just match it up. I'm going to do like opposite sides. So just match this up here and measure it to about there. So it's like about three quarters of an inch. So you're going to bring that one to the front, this one to the back here. And then we want to add our little black beads. So we're just going to take a couple of little four millimeter beads and we'll stick one of them on this end here and then you know decide how far apart you want these to be so if you hold it like that you can hold it to the right side of that one and bring it to the back just right around to the back and then twist this one around so whatever is the easiest way to hold it Often it's easier just to grab it with the pliers. It's going to be easier to hang on to. And then you're going to clip the end. So same thing on the other side. Get your little bead. Stick it on the wire. And make sure these are sort of somewhat centered. And then just decide at what distance you want to do that one and then bend it to the back bend it to the back and over here and then bring this one around and if it's easier grab it with your pliers bring it around and then give it a little clip and then you can always push your ends in a little bit like that and then you see you have two versions of the stethoscope and then if you still need to adjust this part a little bit you can you can go in and bend these if there's too much of a gap just bend it in there a little bit and also this part you can still adjust that a little bit and then get your round form and bring it around if you need a bigger round form get a bigger pen play around with it and there you have your super cute stethoscope and it's you've got this one here and then to hang it you want to put the hook on the opposite side so it's always good for earrings to have them sort of almost mirror image so we're going to take that and put it on there you could also put a little uh, jump ring if you want to hang it on a pendant that would be no problem and then you have your little stethoscope earrings I also tried making one with a six millimeter round bead. So if you don't have any of the sequins and you want to use a round bead, you can totally do that too. 
So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more DIY wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share pictures of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my wire work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to hop on the mailing list, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you the next time.